Hi, in this video, you will learn how to create this beautiful dazzling lights animation effect. Just see how beautiful the animation looks. The best part is you can change the colors to your liking and it will look equally dashing. And if you want to change the background, you can do so as well. Take a look at this. This is a variation of yellow lights in a dark background. And once all the lights come on, you can see that the point that is placed at the center really gets highlighted. There are a number of uses for this. You can announce a winner in a competition by writing the name of the person here, or you can write any announcement here. Or if you are into preaching, then you can write your quote here. Or if you want to wish someone on their birthday, you can do so. There are so many ways you can use this simple yet dazzling effect. You can do it even if you are a rank beginner in PowerPoint. I'll show you how to do it from scratch. Before that, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. As always, we will start from a clean slide. Let us go to home, go to auto shapes gallery, pick up the oval tool, hold the shift button down and draw a circle like so. You can choose the size of the circle depending on how large you want to have the frame. Then let me choose a color for shape fill. Maybe I can use this purple color. Right click, go to format shape and you can add some glow. Go to effects option, go to glow and here you can choose one of the presets. I'm going to choose the one which has the maximum glow here in the presets and I'm going to change the color to the same purple color that we had earlier. Then go to shape outline, say no outline and we have got our bulb ready. Now let us create a duplicate of this by pressing Ctrl D. Select this, press Ctrl D. The benefit of this is you can keep hitting Ctrl D over, over, over and again. So you can see that you've got a number of these instances created. Now it is all wonky, it doesn't really matter. We select everything, then go to Arrange, Align and say Align Middle. Now everything is in line. Then let us go to Arrange, align and say distribute horizontally. Now there is equal spacing between them. Excellent. Now let us press Ctrl G to group them. Let us create Ctrl D to create a duplicate and let us place this over here. And let us make one more copy of this by pressing Ctrl D. And then let us rotate this right 90 degrees and let us place this over here. Now that is a good enough distance. We don't really want the rest of them. Let us right click group ungroup first. Let us select all of these and delete them all. You can of course zoom out, select everything else and delete. Now we are going to group just these ones. See, I have carefully selected just these. If you are not able to do so, you can hold the shift button down and select each of these. So you select only the relevant ones and press Ctrl G. So this is how we have grouped them together. Let us go to this one called as fit slide to current window. So you can see everything in the normal view. Now we need to have this slightly brought down and just to be sure that we have everything in place, we are going to select this, this and this and go to distribute vertically so there is equal space and then we are going to say align right so everything is aligned properly. Alignment is extremely important to have this whole thing work well. Then let us select this, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and place the other instance over here. Now we have a proper circular frame available for us. Now we need to ungroup everything and then we need to apply custom animation to all of these items. Let us go to animations, go to animation pane so you can see what I'm going to do. We're going to select each of these circles in an order and that is a very important thing. If you miss this step, then the whole effect would be lost. So let us select this, hold the shift button down and then click each one in a serial order. Let us go here and add emphasis animation and the one that we are going to choose is color pulse. So that is how it pulses. Now we have got all these animations selected. Let us go to the last one, click on the drop down menu, go to effect options and say timing it needs to repeat until end of slide and you say OK. So that is how it would flash. Now if you see in the slideshow on a click you can see that this is the way it flashes but this is not what we want. We need to do the next step which is slightly labor intensive. Let us go all the way to the top. Let us have even the first one happen with previous. Actually all of them happen with previous only that each of them have an additional delay of 0.1 seconds. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let us go here, go to delay and say 0.1. 
and then go to the next one and say 0.2. Of course, this is something that you need to do with a bit of patience. Doing this will ensure that the result is spectacular. So I am adding 0.5 and I keep doing that. Once you reach 0.9, you go to 1 and then 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 like that. You keep going. There it is. I have done that for all the circles. Let us go to slideshow and see the result of our hard work. And you can see that this whole thing looks so beautiful. And the best part is you do it just once. And you can use this slide as many times as you want for as many occasions as you want. If you want to change the colors, all you need to do is to create a duplicate and then go here, go to shape fill and choose some other color. Maybe this blue color and then go to shape effects, go to glow and then go to more glow colors and you can choose the same blue color. And when you go to slideshow, this is how the whole effect starts. And once it picks up pace, then it starts dazzling like so. And once you're happy with the result, you can pick up the text box tool and write your text in the middle. And of course, after that, you can show off to your friends, colleagues and make them wonder how you created this beautiful effect. And when you tell them that you created this using PowerPoint, they will be amazed. If you liked this tutorial, then you will really love this other tutorial that we have put together a while back called Easy PowerPoint Animation Effect. We have used the same idea, but in a very different way. I will leave a link to that video right here on your screen. You can click on the link, go watch that video and learn a creative variation of this beautiful effect. I'll see you inside that video.